Yo, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of the Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. This is the 7th June 2019 build for the Redmi Note 7 Pro and some things have been changed of the like installation procedure and things like that. So I'll just show you everything. But first of all, let me show you the settings panel over here. If you go into the about phone and Android version, over here you will see that the Android version is 9 and the security patch is latest and all the June 5th 2019 security patch and stock kernel is the perf plus kernel and the build number you can see it from the bottom that it is the 7th June 2019 build I am on right now. So if you go to the system and if you go into developer options you can enable this advanced reboot so you have all those good things about the like advanced reboot and stuff like that from here and we do have the system updates too you can update like you can check for updates from here as you can see and if i go back and if you go to the gestures over here you will find the swipe to take screenshot so this three finger screenshot gesture still works and it does not scroll so that is pretty cool and the battery life over here is just amazing i'm getting around eight to nine hours of screen on time pretty much so no complaints regarding the battery life over here and if you go into the status bar we have the quick pull down and stuff like that and system icons you can have the wi-fi etc icons or like hotspot bluetooth etc icons you can enable the headset icon too from here but there is no vault -E icon as of right now and if you go into the buttons you can customize the long press for torch option you can enable it and wake up device with the volume keys and invert the like navigation layout is working fine over here and if you go into the security let me show you that we do have the face unlock or the auto face unlock and in the lock screen it does show the temperature over here as you can see it's showing the temperature over here right there and you can change the temperature unit to celsius or fahrenheit and if you go into the smart lock let me show you so inside smart lock you do get trusted face and of course this is a pixel experience rom so you have no need to flash the like gapps packages so you just like flash the rom and reboot so I'll talk about the flashing procedure like later on and let me show you the battery settings over here this is how it looks like you can enable the battery percentage from here battery manager you can like enable it from here and you can even turn on the battery saver and stuff and over here if you go into the display settings we have the live display so you can change the like whole RGB control over here if you have and hue saturation intensity and contrast of display you can control it from here and if you enable the display mode to night you can like change the night mode to like mode yellowish or stuff like that so that is pretty cool i would say and color profile you can change it too and we do have the tap to sleep and tap to wake so double tap to sleep on the status bar is working fine let me just do it again as you can see it's working fine as you can see it's working fine and double tap to wake does work too ambient display is there if you want to use that maybe use that like for new notifications it is working fine and dark theme and stuff is there so if you want to enable dark theme for this rom the whole settings panel and stuff like becomes dark so that is pretty cool you can choose the accent colors too from here right now it is set to default but you can change the accent colors to red cyan pink etc options and if you go into the sound settings and advanced if you scroll down we have the vibrate to indicate call status but there is no me audio enhancer or stuff like that which we get on the redmi note 5 pro stock launcher over here is the pixel launcher of course to the left we have the google now cards of this launcher this launcher does not support this like quick pull down or like anywhere swiping down to get the quick settings panel so that is simply not the case over here as you can see and we do not get any kind of double tap to sleep or stuff like that anywhere on the home screen let me show you the settings this is what the like stock launcher settings is and pretty simplistic over here nothing fancy and i did install the anx camera over here the stock camera over here i think is the like snapdragon camera which is pretty average so i did install google camera and the anx camera and for this anx camera i'll leave the zip file in the description box below you can just flash it with the wrp and it should work fine as you can see the 48 megapixel pictures is a little buggy i think but other things are like working fine over here the miui camera like poor red miui camera is working fine over here and over here i have installed google camera i leave the link for this again in the description box below too and night sight and stuff like that for with this google camera is working fine even portrait mode and stuff does work fine let me switch to portrait mode as you can see it's not freezing so the portrait mode and stuff everything works over here you don't need to worry let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app one of speeds and the ram management over here i think the app one of speeds is pretty fine and even you can see the app one of animation it's pretty dope over here like stock android pie 
and of course this is pretty much stock android with a little bit of customizations so it's working super fine pretty much pixel experience over here i can confirm and over here as you can see the ram management is super fine no issues whatsoever regarding the ram management as you can see all the app stays in memory so no issues whatsoever regarding the ram management even gaming performance and stuff is fine here is the android score of this rom and by the way still in call ui there is no like call recording option or stuff like that so that is how it is but you can do video calling if you are into it and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty decent not bad at all i would say now let's talk about flashing this rom well how do you flash this rom the method has been changed i just told you and if you want to flash this rom you need peters twrp like and from now on if you want to flash any custom roms i would say you need the peters twrp recovery which will be linked again in the description box below you can flash it with the old twrp2 so no need to worry about that so you can just flash that recovery and by the way google pay and stuff everything is working again over here no issues whatsoever google pay is working right out of the box and you can see the widgets and stuff is working fine the rom is super fluid no issues whatsoever and over here again coming back to the flashing procedure we have like i have downloaded the file over here let me just show you as you can see this is the 7 june 2019 build of the pixel experience rom for the like redmi note 7 pro so you just need this like rom file you don't even need the f script or even g apps of course because it's pixel experience so let me just go into the recovery now and by the way if you are flashing this rom i'm telling you that like from now on again if you are on a rom or on in custom rom you have to like enter your pin in the twrp like your lock screen pin here we have the like pin over here so i have to enter this pin inside twrp2 so don't think that your storage is encrypted or something like that yes it is encrypted until you put your pin in, inside twrp so let me just reboot to recovery and show you if i right now reboot to recovery so here as you can see the twrp is asking me for password so here let me enter my pin or the screen unlocking pin inside android lake system so right now i did enter my pin over here it's still not unlocking so i have to play, click on write over here now it's it will decrypt the storage yes you have to do it every time you boot into twrp i know i know it's annoying but it's good for security at least and over here as you can see right now it's like decrypted and if you're going to install you will see all those folders and files otherwise if you just cancel that from the pin entering option you will see the like encrypted folders you can't see anything the storage will show as zero or something like that so that is how it is now if i go into over here as you can see you can see the like full options of the like files over here so no need to worry about the pin you just have to enter the pin once you get into the recovery every time so over here let me tell you that the flashing procedure has changed i was talking about so once you are in the old twrp or if you are if you have already flashed this like new twrp of peter's twrp which is 3310 and in the reboot section it shows the edl option and stuff like that so that is how this twrp works and over here if you have flashed the new twrp after that you have to go to not install you have to go to wipe then advanced wipe then wipe dalvi cache system vendor and data not internal storage system dalvi cache system vendor and data if you're not like on the latest firmware just make sure you flash the latest vendor otherwise you may face some crashes but make sure to wipe these things and flash the vendor image if you are not on the latest miui or if you were not on the latest miui otherwise you can just like do you do not need to flash the vendor or something like that right now go to install and over here if you go into pixel experience rom like i mean just select it and just swipe to confirm flash you don't need to flash even the f script as previously we were doing so you don't need that f script anymore so just flash this pixel experience like violet zip file over here after that when you reboot you will see that you are booting back to twrp so then go to wipe again then go to format data and type ps and then just reboot to system and it will just reboot to your system like no issues whatsoever it will directly boot into your system no need to worry so after you have booted you will see that password happened when like you are booting back to twrp once again so right now that is how it is so if you are in a custom rom whatever pin or like password you set inside our custom rom it will ask it in the like twrp section 
so that is how it is no need to worry about like encryption anymore but like the security is good i would say like anybody just can't steal your device and just format like without formatting data access your internal storage so that is pretty good i would say i think i talked to the like developers and they said that even this is the same case with one plus seven bro and stuff like that so that is how it is guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.